Hey guys, I want to go over how to do a correct abdominal contraction. Okay, this is what people will consider like their transverse abdominis, their TA, how to really connect the dots with it with activity. So I usually think of the TA as like the third layer of the abdominal core. The first layer being the diaphragm, second layer being pelvic floor. That's your roof and your base of the house, okay? You have to build the foundation here before we can move on to other things. So once we get our breathing down, how it connects to the pelvic floor, beautiful. We can move on to step three. Step three is connecting the front lower abdomen. So I say lower, but really this muscle, it's a horizontal muscle that has your lower, your middle, and your uppers. So often what we see from patients is they connect really well in this upper where it gets really tight and then it bulges out. It would be like getting tight here and pushing out the lower abdomen. When that happens, the lowers are not connecting well with the pelvic floor. All right. It's almost like we're pushing down the abdominal cavity. So if you think if you are working out that way where it's tight up here and bulged down there, no wonder we're peeing our pants or of having abdominal or pelvic pressure with activity. We're pushing things down there. So it's not going to connect and support, right? It's being shoved down. We want to retrain it where it's more being supported from the base up, just like you build a house, foundation up. So when I see people pull belly button to spine, I'm typically looking and watching like how they're connecting the lowers. It's not my favorite cue. It's really not a cue I use at all. My favorite cue for patients is to connect from pubic bone to breastbone, to envision or visualize a zipper connecting from pubic bone to breastbone. The base of that zipper is that blueberry. So you're picking up that blueberry. Then after that, you're connecting hip bone to hip bone and then taking the rest of the zipper up to the breastbone. Come on along with me, go ahead and lay on your back. Let's try this on our back with gravity pulling the abdominal organs away from our abdomen. So lying here, if you let everything relax, I want you to breathe in. As you blow out, you're going to zip up, okay? So blow out, and you're gonna zip up from pubic bone to breast bone. So it should be your belly button's going nice and up, what I have patients watch for this is if their belly button goes down into the spine and down towards their bottom and it starts to pooch out, that's not what we're looking for. We're really looking for more of that zipper just going from pubic bone up to breastbone. So a nice smooth transition. Again, not tightening and bulging down. If this is challenging to do in this position, try this on all fours. This is not an easy task that patients typically learn on day one. It's a lot of retraining, a lot of closing your eyes and visualizing that zipper to really connect the dots on how to get that abdominal con contraction to connect well. Let's try this again. You're gonna breathe in, blow out, and zip up. One place I like to have patients really feel for, because I'm a tactile learner, is you find the front of your pelvis and your fingers are gonna move in one inch and down. And you can feel this muscle, especially if you contract too much, you can feel it kick in. But this time, I'm not gonna have you do a zip up, I want you to actually just do that Kegel. Like pick up the blueberry, suck up the smoothie. So go ahead and breathe in, blow out, pick up that blueberry, suck up that smoothie. You should feel that muscle contract in the lower abdomen. This might be a little different for anybody who's had abdominal surgery, or a cesarean birth. So be patient with yourself. Let's try that again. Blow out, pick up that blueberry. Do you feel the tension down there? If you do, that's almost too hard of a contraction. So I want that to be very, very minimal. So do less of a blueberry before you do the rest of the zipper. Go ahead and breathe in. Pick up that blueberry, very minimal. And let that zipper go all the way up to the top of the sternum or the top of the breastbone. All right, that is a zip up. I want you to go ahead and go on all fours and you're gonna try this in this position as well. For some of my patients, this is an easier position to be in because now gravity is pulling at you a little bit differently and they're able to use their muscles the way that they need to be used. So from here, you're gonna breathe in, blow out, same thing. You can do that blueberry first, lower abdomen, and then all the way up to the breastbone and that's your zip up. Go ahead and let it go, breathe in again. Blow out, pick up that blueberry, tighten hip bone to hip bone, zipper all the way up to the breastbone. 
So with the zip up, there are a couple different exercises I like to do with this one. I typically use the zip up all day, every day. I want you using it as you're moving from sit to stand to get out of a chair. So I'm going to breathe in, blow out, zip up as I go to stand. I'm going to do this while I hold my kiddo, while I'm holding a laundry basket, while I'm washing dishes and maybe getting some, putting the dishes away or getting something out of the oven. I want to use this throughout my daily routine with my exercises. Maybe I'm picking my baby up from the diaper changing table and walking down the hallway and I do a light, light zip up, maybe a 20% of my normal contraction just to help activate that tissue. And then you release it. You zip it up as you're moving through it and then let it go. We get to a point where you can start to feel it firing more often and more readily. Um, give this one a shot. Let me know if you have any questions on it. It can be very confusing because these muscles have not worked like this in a very long time. So we're really working on retraining brain to these muscles on how to function well again, especially if you've been pregnant and then you're in postpartum and you've had any kind of pelvic floor tearing or bad, or I'm sorry, or cesarean birth. So keep that in mind. Be patient. Tap into these muscles every day if you can, but be gentle. I don't want you feeling any tension in the back while you're doing a zip up or that's too strong of a contraction in the front. There you have it. That's how to connect your core. Please let me know if you have any questions.